Okay guys, so we are back with our 30 second JavaScript tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about how we can get the values from the list. In this case, I have a select list here. You can see that on my HTML code and this is how it looks like. Basically, I just give it a label smartphone and there are three options. Here you can see the three options and also give the value for each of these options. And now what I want to do that I want to print all the options you know whether they are selected or not so I just want to print all the options to see what are the options available in the list so for that purpose I will just create a variable and give it a name list one and I will just you know pass on all the values of this all the elements of this so document dot get element by id and in these two small braces I will just simply paste the ID of the list so what I want to do that I want to print all the options so there could be plenty of options and mostly there are more than one or two more than two options most of the time so I will use the for loop because it is the best practice to use the for loop for this purpose so we will just create a counter variable x give it a value 0 and x should be less than sorry x should be less than the length of list so list 1 dot length l e n g r t length so control space and you know not plus 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 will help you even further okay x plus plus at the end and now in the body of this loop i want to you know store all the values in the result variable which i have just created at the top of this result and what i want to do that i want to you know result plus equal to which means that the you know the previous value should also remain there and just add this one and backslash n plus now list one dot we use element as we you know this time but this list doesn't you know works with the elements and you can get the values of these elements instead of this it goes with the options okay option at x dot value you know the last thing is pretty much same you use the dot value property but the list works with the options instead of elements we use for other things but this this list works with the options so option at x so it will just you know keep scrolling with the index as the for, for loop repeat itself so at the end i will just print the value that we get from the you know all the values all the elements of the list so just print the result this is the simplest way that you can get the value all the values of the list actually you can just you know highlight this and you can see that all the where you have used this variable previously and there are, it makes the you know the spelling mistake even less so now let's refresh the page and now just click on the button and this is the way that you can actually get the values result plus equal to I will just go with result equal to and then this one and then plus symbol so I will just get back to the web page and let's click on this button and guess what is still not working though this is the way because actually the ID of a list is something else and we have mistake you know do a big mistake here so it has the ID my list actually so that was a mistake sorry for this so let's go to web page let's refresh the page don't forget the IDs because you know they give me most of the time trouble because of I just type uh, wrong ID so you should not get in this problem so now let's go to web page let's refresh the page and click on the button and you can see that all the options of the list you know which are the available options you can see that there are three options and it's just showing us all the three options so this is the way that you can get all the values in your list there is another way that you can do this but only getting the you know the options that are selected so that is the other way and we will use this here so what i want to do that i i already get all the elements all the values of this list and they are in the list one variable at the moment so what i want to do i want to store all the selected elements in the result variable so i will just go in there and just say that result should be equal to you know result should get the values that, that are list dot options basically meaning that 
they are the options of the list but in capital brackets and after this value as usual but here is a tricky part that in what we you know type in this capital brackets we usually do this for the indexing and you know use the index or using the for loop variable to you know scroll down the index but in this case we are not you know typing an index in this one we will just tell the browser that you should get the selected options so i will just go with the list one dot selected press control plus space and you will see that so it is spelling mistake s e l e c press control space and it will say you know, here you can scroll down to say that selected indexes so what is doing that it will store the values in the result variable the values that are the option of this list and they are actually selected you know the values which, which will not be selected will not store in the list and you can only select one value at a time so that is why i just i use just simple this statement because there is only one option can be selected of this list so list one dot selected index dot value now i will just simply copy this code and go to the previous code as we did in our last tutorial and i will just paste it here so that we can see all the result all the options and the complete form values in just one click so there that was it for you know plenty much coding work in this tutorial just showing you guys how it works with the whole form so don't forget to save this come to your web page refresh the page and now let's use this one first of all i will go with my own name sad asan and password we want to three yes i mail i have a i have a bike i don't have a car i have a smartphone which is a sony xperia so i just select this option and now i will click and you can see that it is now showing that all the values that we get sad asan okay password is one two three mail and again is saying that mail the two values bike and sony so there might be a problem in this code because i just not take it out okay 456 four, 4 no 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 yes definitely might be okay so actually what we are getting that this way should be increased because we the number of elements has been increased so i will just go with 6 because there are total 9 elements now so now just simply refresh, refresh the page again going with sorry asan password 123 yes i mail i have a bike i have a sony xperia phone and now sorry asan 123 i mail i have a bike i have a sony xperia phone so that was it for this tutorial now you guys learn how to get the values that only selected by the user through your form by using the javascript code so if you have any question regarding this code you are most welcome to ask me on my social pages or you can directly go to my website and leave a comment there you can also leave a comment below this video on youtube and i will definitely reach up to your question and answer it so take care of yourself and goodbye follow us on youtube facebook twitter Google Plus visit our website www.sardreviews.com and then go to learn section from menu don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more